OK, so now we're going to be looking at differentiating each of these. And these bring with them the problem of dealing with indices. Now, you'll be perfectly happy, I expect, with actually differentiating by this point. But we need to get these into a format by which we can differentiate. OK, currently, they're not in a format we want to work with. So we want to make thirds, um, so, or rather roots, OK? Uh, we want to write them in index form, as well as uh, deal with any of these uh, reciprocal expressions as well. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to write this as x to the something. Now, we know that the cube root of x is equal to x to the one third, OK? So dy by dx in this case, the third will come down to the front, and then we take one from the power. So we get minus two thirds. As for number two, we want to write this as something x to the something. So we've got three x to the minus four. So now we can differentiate. So dy by dx. The minus 4 multiplies with the 3, so minus 12x, and then take 1 from the power, so minus 5. Now, number 3 is not so obvious. OK, first of all, we want to think of writing each of the terms in the fraction as index notation. So x to the fifth represents the fifth root of x, plus 2 over x. OK, I'm still not done, though, because now I want to divide. So I've got x to the fifth uh, divided by x, which is x to the minus four fifths, because that's x to the one. OK, so we've got one fifth take away one. Then we've got two over x to the one. So that's plus two x to the minus one. And now we can differentiate. So dy by dx, the minus 4 fifths comes down to the front. Take 1 off the power, so minus 9 fifths now. The minus 1 comes down to the front and take 1 off the power. Let's have a look at number 4. Now we've got the square root of x at the front. So that's x to the half. In the bracket we've got 3 over x, so 3x to the minus 1. And we've got take away 7x to the minus 2. We now want to multiply this bracket out. So we've got x to the half times 3x to the minus 1. So that would be 3x, 1 half, take away 1, so minus a half. Then we've got these two terms, so take away 7x to the, well, 1 half, take away 2, so minus 3 halves. And now we differentiate it. So dy by dx, the minus a half multiplies with the 3, so minus 3 halves. x, take 1 off the power, so minus 3 halves. And then here, minus 3 halves multiplies with 7, so plus 21 halves, x, take 1 off the power. And that's your gradient function. So finally, number five. We've got to simplify this fraction. So in the numerator, we've got x to the half. We've got x to the third. And we've got x to the fourth, or x to the quarter. All over x to the fifth. OK, so I'm going to get the calculator ready for this. So we've got x to the half over x to the fifth. So 1 half, take away 1 fifth, is 3 tenths. So x to the 3 tenths. Then we've got a third take away a fifth. So x to the 2 fifteenths. And then we've got a quarter take away a fifth. So 1 over 20. So now we're ready to differentiate it. So dy by dx is equal to 3 tenths x 
to the minus 7 tenths, because I've got to take one off the power. Then we've got plus 2 fifteenths x. Then we've got 2 fifteenths take away 1, so minus 13 fifteenths. And then the 1 twentieth comes down to the front. And take one off the power, so minus 19 twentieths. And that is the gradient function for number 5.